but from Lewandowski's side, the answer was always the same. He's waiting for Barcelona. Now it's up to Barcelona to find an agreement with Bayern, of course. Hey guys, welcome back on the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, together to discuss about the transfer market with all the latest, all the news and all the updates. Today is an important day to discuss about Robert Lewandowski and many things happening on the market. So let's jump into it together. <music> And so guys, for Lober Lewandowski, we know that the situation is always there with Barcelona. I told you many times here on the channel about Lewandowski and Barcelona verbal agreement on the contract. Lewandowski told Barca many and many times that his priority is to join them told Bayern many and many times that his priority is to join Barca, so it's true that there is interest from other clubs, like Chelsea in particular, but also Paris Saint-Germain have always been exploring the situation, but from Lewandowski's side, the answer was always the same. He's waiting for Barcelona. Now it's up to Barcelona to find an agreement with Bayern, of course, and so this is why we are entering into important days for the negotiations, but still not in final or well-advanced stages. Because what happened, guys? After the opening proposal that was, from what I'm told, around 31, 32 million euros guaranteed, plus some add-ons, Barcelona have made a new bid in the last hours. It's been a proposal around 35 million euros guaranteed fee plus add-ons to arrive around 5 million euros. So a potential package of 50 million euros. Not so easy add-ons from what I'm told. So it's not guaranteed 40 million. It's guaranteed 35 with 5 add-ons and these 5 are not so easy to uh, reach. It could mean about winning titles and this kind of things. So, discussions are, have been reopened with Barcelona as they made this new proposal to Bayern. Still no official answer, still no official contact between the two clubs, but the expectation internally at Bayern is that 35 million euros is not enough to convince Bayern, their president, their board, with Salem Izzic and Khan, to sell Robert Lewandowski this summer. We know that Bayern are fighting to keep the player at the club. They stated in public that they're waiting for him on the first day of the pre-season to speak with Robert and to try to change the situation. So sources internally at Bayern expect that this bid won't be enough to convince the board to accept the proposal. Barca will need an effort or maybe uh, it will take some time to find a solution together with Bayern for this Robert Lewandowski deal. What's clear is that Lewandowski is waiting for Barcelona. Lewandowski has been really respectful, let me mention, with Barca because of the relationship between the super agent Pini Zahavi, the agent of Lewandowski, of course, and Barcelona president Juan Laporta. They have a fantastic relationship and this is why Lewandowski is waiting for Barca. But now Barca will need to find a solution as soon as possible because Lewandowski is waiting but can't wait forever. So work in progress. Let's see after this proposal what will happen. But as I mentioned, the expectation is not so positive internally at Bayern. Let me mention that in the last few hours, also Juventus had a meeting with Paul Pogba's agent, Raffaella Pimenta. She's representing Raiola's group now. And in this meeting, everything is set to be completed between Juventus and Paul Pogba for this free agent top signing. It's just about the final details. They are sorting everything out. And then it will be, here we go for Paul Pogba to Juventus. We are really at the final stages of this story. Paul Pogba will sign the contract in July. will arrive in Italy in July to undergo the medicals and then to sign the contract as new Juventus player. But between Juventus and Paul Pogba is just a matter of time so Pogba will be back at Juventus let me mention another important deal guys for Manchester City because it's true that they are still focusing on Cucurella it's true that they are looking at Ortega as potential second goalkeeper on a free transfer but Calvin Phillips is still a top target. Now Leeds are busy with Rafinha, so this week we know that many things are happening on Rafinha's side, but Calvin Phillips is something that Manchester City have still in their list, so they want Calvin Phillips. Pep Guardiola is a big fan, and so remember this name because Manchester City, behind the scenes, are still working on Calvin as a serious possibility on the market. So many things going on on this point, and about goalkeepers. We mentioned in the last few days Nick Pope to become new goalkeeper of Newcastle. Uh, Alphonse Ariola one step away from rejoining West Ham on a permanent deal at this time. And I want to mention for Manchester United two moves because Dean Anderson in the coming days will join Nottingham Forest. It's about the final details to be sorted out on this loan deal. And the potential new second goalkeeper or third goalkeeper for Manchester United to create competition with Tom Heaton. Uh, one of the names, not the only one, but one of the names is Daniel Bashman. 
from Watford, negotiations ongoing. It's important to understand the fee because Man United are not prepared to pay big money, but they appreciate the player, and so Bachmann could be an option for Manchester United as new goalkeeper. And so, guys, let me know your thoughts on this transfer market stories with Lewandowski update, with Paul Pogba and many other things happening, including Calvin Phillips. I wait, as always, guys, for your comments here. Remember, guys, to subscribe to the channel. Crazy Summer is coming, is ongoing, and so we are entering into important weeks. So remember to subscribe, like this video, and see you soon with Fabrizio Romano. Ciao!